What is going on YouTube? Today we are back in the garage. We're working on the E92 M3, trying to knock this thing out. I've got the garage kind of reset up. Um, I have my new frame measuring system set up as well on this car. So I'm gonna show you a little bit about how that works, how we're gonna use that to ensure that the frame rails are straight and when we section off those pieces and attach them to this car to make sure that they're in the right position. So um, I'm gonna go through all those things today. So, uh, and I'm gonna show you what we've done thus far. All right, before we get started uh, showing you the uh, actual work that we've done so far and what we're gonna continue to do here, I just wanna show you the frame measuring system set up on this car, but we have it on the bottom here. It's all set up, it's on the M3. And as you can see um, underneath, uh, we have all these sensors hooked up. And then if you look in the middle of the car, there is a leveling system and you can see the lasers going off, shooting signals um, to all those sensors. And if we look over on this side, you can see the sensors actually uh, lighting up there. You can see right here. Um, and that's uh, feeding back. Now, this machine, it actually, the computer picks up and it knows exactly what the sensor number is. And that shows up on the computer. And then it'll tell you the actual distances. And then you can actually say, I wanna know what number 11, the distance from number 11 is to, let's say, number 21 or any of the sensors. And it shows you instantly what the measurement is. Um, and then it shows you what the measurement should be. So that's really cool and that saves a lot of time um, trying to get underneath the car and using a tram gauge or a measuring tape. Um, you could do it, but it's gonna take you so much more time and this is gonna be a, a great time saver. Um, this is what the sensors look like hung. You can see um, it's just a magnet and I can just pull this off and there you go. It's just, uh, sorry about that. There you go, it just dangles like that and, and it has the different sizes. So the computer actually tells you which one of these fittings to use. And then it actually also tells you which one of these sensors to use. It'll make a recommendation. And then sure enough, pretty much every time it clips right on. Uh, the only times I've run into problems is because of my particular frame straightener uh, may not work with a particular sensor. So, um, you know, sometimes I have to change the sensor out. Let me t uh, show you the computer screen and the kind of information um, that it'll show you. But I was wrong about the operating system. It is uh, actually Windows 7, which is way better than Windows 95. Um, I thought it was gonna be a much older computer. So that's kind of cool. Uh, as you can see, the subscription expired 8-22-2017. I called the manufacturer Chief um, to find out how much it would be to get an update and they told me since I was the second owner that I had to pay a flat rate of $5,000 uh, plus the subscription, which they didn't tell me how much that cost, but I can only imagine. So, um, I mean, for a big shop, it may be a good deal, but for me, um, I just really can't front that money on a tool like this. So for now, I'm just gonna work with what I have uh, with the data I have. So what you could do here is uh, you start a new measurement and we'll click on the year of the vehicle. I'm working on 2011. BMW M3 E92 two-door. Uh, then it tells you where to place your clamps. My clamps are already in position. And I'm gonna hit next. And there you have it. There's a, a picture of your frame. Uh, all the sensors are picked up right here. So um, this is telling you, uh, every time you hook up a sensor, it just automatically populates in this area, which is really cool. Um, and then in, this is the uh, representing the, uh, the actual um, laser hub that's set up. So, um, so we're gonna go and take a look and see uh, what these measurements are now. Let me uh, click on the right screen. I'm still learning how to navigate this, so I'm not quite proficient at it, but I've been uh, playing around with the program, uh, reading the manual, which I fell asleep at least three times, trying to complete, but I've got it done now. So let's see. All right, so we finally got this thing figured out now. All right, so with all the sensors in place, it'll tell you um, how far out of spec um, or how far off the exact number um, the frame is at any given point where you have a sensor set up. So um, we have a sensor set up here. It's telling us that that point is over about, I guess that's two millimeters um, in that direction. Um, so each of these points is telling me how far off it is. Um, and if we want to correct it, we'd have to pull the opposite way. However, 
Um, if the point is in blue, it's within spec because even from the factory, um, these points might not be at the exact spot on every single car. So there's usually a uh, two or three millimeter tolerance. For the most part, the uh, frame, um, most of the points seem to be um, pretty close, you know, uh, close enough, I think, that um, in a wheel alignment, we would be okay. So um, this is really good to know. And then also when I set up my new frame rails, um, they're gonna be set up at points uh, here and here. I don't have sensors on those points because um, my frame rail I have uh, test fitting fitted right now I could put it a sensor here, but there's no frame rail right here for me to put a sensor on so I'm gonna set those up um, Before I start welding so that I make sure that those frame rails are in the exact position They need to be the alignment report was telling me that I was out of spec in a few different spots um, And I'm using all the sensors and magnets that it's telling me to use um, but li literally just pushing the sensor over a little bit uh, within the hole or on the bolt and I brought back a lot of different points into spec so um, that's why I don't I don't have a lot of experience with this machine but I imagine you can't read in too much to being uh, one or two um, points out of spec because um, literally moving those sensors around um, it changes all those variables so um, I think that this this frame is probably uh, pretty straight. I don't think anything's affected. However, I will have to check uh, the front part of the frame rail um, as I'm welding. I'll have to check those, dim those uh, dimensions to make sure that they're in the right spot. But as far as the rest of the car goes, I don't have any reason to believe that the uh, main part of the frame is bent out of shape anywhere else. Everything looks pretty good according to this alignment report. So that's good news and we're going to keep um, working on this thing and get it finished. So it's good to know that the frame for the most part is in a straight condition, except for the front of the frame rails. I do believe the aprons uh, will need some adjusting up front as well. However, for the most part, that frame is fairly straight. And it's surprising because those front frame rails were bent quite a bit in the front. Um, they were caved in pretty far. Now I've gone through the BMW um, service manual for the uh, auto body repairs, and I was hoping that I could just replace the first five or six inches of that frame rail and just section it out the damaged part. However, according to the manual, you can section the very front of the frame rail, but it's within only about three or four inches um, from the front of that rail. So my damage is a little bit too far back. So I'm going to have to section the rail at the next sectioning point, which is along the firewall, which is much bigger of a job. That means that we're going to have to remove the entire drivetrain to get to that point. So a lot more work than I was hoping for, but uh, we're going to see this one through. I'm going to show you how we do it. And uh, we want to make sure and get this repaired right. We want to repair this uh, in a way that a body shop would do it in the same manner so as to make sure that this car will last a long time uh, and it's safe for the road. So uh, that's going to be coming up in the next videos as we work on this M3. If you like any of these videos, please like and subscribe. Um, if you have any comments, please comment below. Uh, and we'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching.